Hey guys, it's the Solar Cloth here, and today in uh, some monster analysis video, we're going to be going over Firefool, and I'm going to be telling you guys why you should get him out of the current Halloween event. So let's go and get right into it. Alright, so Firefool is a support, and he has a lot of traits. He has Burn Immunity, Torture Immunity, which is really good. Bulwark, AoE, a random elemental weakness, which can be good depending on if you get a one that you can actually use. And then at rank 5, he gets AoE, random torture, which is really good, and can be super good if you get a good torture. But both of the random ones really depend on what you get. And then his relics are banner and staff, which are both amazing. So now let's go on down to the pros and cons. So he can apply PER twice, which is really good. He also has access to two great zero cooldown skills, meaning he isn't screwed against cooldown activation, which is very good. He has a great trait, great turn transfer, which is really cool. And then he also has two moves that bypass dodge area. He has good relics for a support. He has great speed. He has low stamina cost, and he has random effects, which can give you something good but that is a con because that can also give you something useless and then his other cons are no team ner and extra turns are anticipation bait but he does have single target ner which is still really good so that honestly doesn't really matter but his extra turns are anticipation bait that is a big problem so now let's go on down to his moveset so he has a random negative effect with an aoe random torture which is a decent move he also has a per with an aoe per which is a very good move that applies PR twice to one enemy and to everyone else once. And then he also has an ally NER with a random positive effect and an extra turn to the ally. So that is an amazing turn transfer right there. And then he also has an ally random damage buff with an extra turn to them as well. So that is another turn transfer. So yeah, very, very good move. And yet yeah, just all of the moves are very, very good. So this monster is an amazing support he seems like he'd just be good for multiplayer that is probably the best thing he'd be good for i don't really see him being super good for bounty hunts there are definitely better monsters for bounty hunts but he is a really good multiplayer monster so if you need a multiplayer support definitely get him because he is a great option very good monster and you probably do want to rank him up because his rank zero is not good but if you can get him to rank one that is a very good trait and if you can get him to rank five all the rest are pretty great as well so yeah very good monster to get definitely go ahead and try to get him get him ranked up if you can and yeah use him on your team and let me know down in the comments what you guys think of firefall because i do of course think that he is very good so yeah, that is going to be it for this video let me know down in the comments if you guys are going to get firefall and i'll see you guys in the next one over the like share and subscribe goodbye